It's another day in the zombie apocalypse for John Maguire. He has spent the night in his new base, his new home from home, a survivor camp right in the very centre of Raven Creek. And I must say, John has got off to a very good start. He has accumulated lots and lots of two of his favourite things. Guns and ammo. You got a fair bit there. And also alcohol. Look at that. And let's have some pop. Why not? Now, one thing that John does miss, John mourns the loss of his super duper <clears throat> shotgun, the R1187. It has lost. Somehow John has mislaid it. So John really, 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 really wanted to press north and on the search for a police department. There are a couple of uh, public service buildings, the purple buildings on the map nearby. One of those has got to be a police department, but it's a little bit foggy outside. So we're going to actually spend this afternoon in Raven Creek, uh, searching out the nearby area, seeing what loot we can find. Now we're going to start with just to the west of here uh, are some lockups, some garages. Uh, so we're going to grab the sledgehammer and break on in and see what we can find. Okay, so John has got his sledgehammer from the patrol car and just, I mean, the, the survivor compound is just there. And just behind this rather tall building, which is kind of the norm in central downtown Raven Creek, there is some garage lockups. I'm very pleased to say not a single zombie in sight. Let's break on into these places and see what we can find. Okay, so I did not realize just how big this lockup was. There's about 12 garages. There's potentially quite a lot of loot. And we just got some neighbors coming to say hi. John makes easy work of it. Oh, wow. Let's maybe fall back. It's literally... Oh, wow. It is literally raining zombies. What the hell is that all about? Oh my god. But John seems unfazed by the fact that it is raining zombies. Although, yeah, now he's a bit shit scared. We got this thing. Okay, man, that was crazy. Just imagine if John had been on that tile. Just when all those zombies fell down, how many floors they fell, who knows, this apartment complex has got, wow, it's official, John, John is now brave, I can't remember what's that actually, how that actually affects his stats, but John is brave, I am pleased with that, and there's a lot of them, where is that? There they are. We've uh, woken up zombies in this apartment complex, that is for sure. Let's just wait for them to break through. Yeah, there is... Uh, you think you've cleared the area. And then you make enough noise at the wrong time, or maybe even the right time. And it draws a load of zombies out from these multi-story... Uh, Apartment blocks, but I'd rather bring them out here. Yeah, we've really, really woken up these zombies. Man, this bedlam, absolute bedlam. Okay, there is a lot of zombies kind of coming from. I mean, it's just crazy to think that we were just around the corner, casually breaking through all those garage doors, and it was quiet as anything. That's absolute bedlam. We've got a police officer there. We must remember to check out them. Oh, we've got another one. And they've got a nightstick. Okay, we're back at the uh, other end of this apartment block. There is a lot of zombies in there, man. And, yep. Yeah. This is going to take some time. Wow. Let's take a chill pill. Crazy amount of zombies. Oh, 
Oh, man, that was close. Man, the zombies keep coming. Oh, jeez, that was close. Almost got John then. Ah, my John is he's quite tired. He wasn't ready for all of this uh, zombie slaying today. Okay, we're just down to the last couple now. John needs a little bit of a rest. I'm just going to sit in one of these cars. Just have a little bit of a rest before we go anywhere near that apartment block. Okay, so John has had a little bit of a rest. We're now back at that apartment block. There are still zombies in the area, so John's still got work to do. Okay, man, this is not how I was expecting today to go. It is a lot of hard work. But it's good, it's good work. There's a lot less zombies in the area in Raven Creek. Man, these zombies are such noisy eaters. You can creep up right on top of them and just do that. Okay, this gun fork is almost broken. And uh, oh man, there's just so many zombies around. And there we go. There is still a lot of banging in that place. So with, there's going to be more zombies coming out at some point. But for now, let's finish what we started. And get in the rest of these lockups and see what loot there is. Okay, so we've got our loot bag, we're back at the lockup, so hopefully we can find lots of weapons. I'm not going to find any food, which is kind of, I mean, that's John's definite top three. Oh wow, what is this? Wow, a little sort of impromptu worship area. Maybe some reverend doing a broadcast. But another zombie. Those zombies are going to keep coming out of that uh, apartment complex in dribs and drabs. But for now it's quiet. Let's see what else we've got in this place. Well, I was wrong when I said there wouldn't be any food. Look at this. You've got a zombie. That is really annoyed, John. Interrupting his enjoyment of food. That is just really inconsiderate. Okay, let's go back to filling his face. John, you greedy bastard. Wow, would you look at that? absolutely awesome the bag is already full of useful loot look at this four empty gas cans some nails some tools another zombie or two that was really worthwhile looking through these lockups we've still got a couple of lockups to look through we've got a nice peanuts we've got a good selection of weapons tools nails even found a little bit of food which has helped to keep john going Look at that, two baseball bats. Absolutely awesome. I'm going to finish searching through these few remaining lockups and then I'm going to get all of this back to base. Okay, so that is all of the gear dropped off and I didn't actually realise, but look at this. Four baseball bats. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Now, it is quite late, so it's not really a good idea I think to go out on any sort of loot run at this point in time but there is one thing that I think John probably should do we're gonna fall back to our main base sudden tip of Raven Creek once more and we need a better if we're gonna launch a proper effective assault on Raven Creek hopefully a police department that's nearby we're not gonna tempt fate we need to get a better shotgun the only shotgun that John's got to hand is really really poor condition could break at just the worst time so John's gonna jump into the patrol car once more and head on back to base and uh, yeah get tooled up okay so once again John leaves the safety of his base to go deeper and deeper into Raven Creek risking his life to clear out this town of, of zombies and make it safe and now he's come back we're going to be going 
a little bit more north from here. We're going to be in the deepest John has ever been into Raven Creek. There was on the map a couple of public service buildings. That is quite a that is quite a group. And I'm hoping that one of them is a police department. And again, it's not going to be a sophisticated plan. And we're going to start off with the Magnum, which again, I've completely failed <laughs> to uh, load. And um, yeah, we're going to start off with the Magnum. And then when things get a little bit too hairy, we're going to switch to the shotgun. I've got a shotgun from base, which I've pimped up best I can. Let's get things going. Okay, John is absolutely deadly now with this aiming level 5 with this Magnum. We've got four boxes, almost a hundred bullets. They're not going to last long. Okay, so we're back at the police vehicle from here on in this is pretty much new territory territory uncharted territory for john who knows what lies ahead i gotta say this goes to show what an absolute hero this guy is just strolling along high-rise buildings either side zombies not getting anywhere near him Okay, so we've made it to the end of the block. This is the first, what I'm calling a public service building on the map. It is a church. That is of absolutely zero interest to John. So we'll press north, he must. Now, I knew that these guys would break out sooner rather than later. This is uh, from one of the apartment blocks that has a metal bar across the window there was a lot of zombies banging on it it was only a matter of time before they all got out we need to open another box around okay so john's had to fall back quite away because there's there's quite a lot of zombies right behind him you do not want to get blindsided outflanked surrounded so let's clear them out That was a close one. I was just about to wax lyrical about how much I love this gun. And then John misses a zombie from point blank range and has to pistol whip him. As you can see, we're forced all the way back to the police vehicle. I might actually, once I've cleared out these last few. Ah, oh, so satisfying. Jump in the vehicle and go deeper by... Uh, get in the patrol vehicle, but the zombies just keep coming. Okay, things are going well. This is going well. The zombies are coming at a quite a steady sort of pace, so John's able to comfortably take them out one at a time. We are not getting overwhelmed. Now you're going to take out this guy with the garden fork. And need a little bit of a window to open up the rest of the uh, magnum boxes. We're down to our last 48 um, bullets. We've gone through half of our bullets already. And the zombies keep coming. Okay. Right, let's get the rest of these bullets unboxed and ready to roll switch back to the magnum let's reload okay so we brought the vehicle right in we're actually only still barely a block away from the survival compound how they were able to survive so long deep right in the center of raven creek incredible but fell they did in the fall they did in the end just like that zombie Here comes the next wave of soon to be dead zombies. Let's 
Let's see if that work guy's got any leather gloves. No, let's just... Yeah, we'll just quickly dismantle a watch while dozens of zombies head our way. Okay, John is making those zombies jump. Yeah, you love to see it. Okay, that's another wave of zombies gone through. We've got 18 bullets left. We're not going to get very far. <laughs> We're kind of cancelling each other out at the moment. Now, I didn't get fully prepared. I don't have actually the shotgun on me, which is why I've not switched out to the shotgun earlier. That's why I've kept going with the M44 Magnum. John's got this. Okay, last six bullets and we barely made it a block. We've gone through nearly a hundred bullets. Okay, so we're back at the church. Another, another execution. Uh, now just up ahead, I hope it's no more than a block, there is another club, public service building that is going to be either a school or a police department. I really hope it's the latter. John needs to find a much better shotgun. All right, well, last bullet. Here on in, the game changes a little bit. We switch to the shotgun. We're going to have to go to the Garden Fork to get these lead rivals. Look at this floor. It's absolutely, absolutely covered in dozens and dozens and dozens of dead zombies. I'm going to take, pick up these stragglers with the gun fork and then we're going to switch over to the shotgun. Okay, we've got the shotgun, we've got the boxes of shotgun shells. We are ready to roll. John is just taking the opportunity to fill his belly. Wow, that was a, that was a hearty bowl of uh, stew there. Okay, so John is locked and loaded, but just before we continue to press deep into Raven Creek, let me just very quickly show you on the map. So we are down here, just down the road, barely down the road from our survivor camp. This is a church just a little bit farther north. And there's a lot of residential. There is a lot of potential for a lot of zombies. But just here, I hope it's a police department. Knowing me, knowing John's luck, it'll be a school. There's only one way to find out. Let's ring the dinner bell. Okay, so John has walked quite a way and there is not a lot of activity. It looks like we've taken care of most of the zombies just ahead of us, but we are. This is the farthest north, so we're probably going to draw more zombies into the area by firing off the shotgun like this. But we want to clear the area. We want to kill the zombies. It's the only way that John can rest easy, can sleep easy at night. So let's get to work. Okay, so we're right on one of the biggest main roads in the whole of Raven Creek by the look of it. This could be one of the main roads out. Let me those. Now, actually, I think I might take those. I might start chowing down on vitamin pills now. John woke up at four o'clock this morning. So eager was he to get going. I'm going to switch to the hand axe. There's, there's not much activity. There's really not much going on. I'll wait for the slow arrivals to arrive. But I'll continue with the hand axe and I'll only switch back to the shotgun if things get out of control. So I do not want to be using one shell for every zombie kill. Okay, so well, John's looked a block ahead to the east and there is nothing coming whatsoever. That would appear to be the area largely clear. Now this place is very, very built up. There is a lot of high walls, high fences. So they could be taking their time to pathfind to the area. But mind if I do. But for now, that is the area clear. So, the moment of truth. Just on the other side of this fence is a big church. Wait, is that another church? What the hell? I need to check the map. What is going on? Oh no, we're just not far north. Totally lost my bearings. Okay, so we've got a long way to go. I think John's going to continue to go in on foot. 
Okay, so we're coming into the area now. This looks very promising. I mean, come on. You can't have a high fence like this around a school, right? What kind of a neighborhood is this? This has got to be a police department. Okay, it's time to rock and roll. There's a lot of zombies. It's time to say hi. Okay, this is where it could get out of hand, especially if John shoots like that. This, there's a lot of tall buildings around here. This is a really built up neighborhood. We're gonna get a lot of zombies flooding in the area. Oh, that was close. Okay, here they come. Okay, we had to fall back a little bit. Coming back to this main road area, it's a lot more spaced out. Let's see what zombies come our way. I might try and round them up. Make every shot count. Okay, so we've got them in some sort of group. We could do better, but John's losing his patience. It is already five o'clock, and there's still a lot of work to do. Okay, so we've just got a few more on us. I'm sure we will just may go a little bit more farther north and there will be a lot more zombies. Let's go back to where we were, where we started firing and let's see how many zombies have flooded into the area. Okay, so the answer is quite a few, but nothing that John can't handle. Although we do need to be careful of the position of these vehicles and these high-rise buildings are going to make things a little bit more difficult as well. Okay, so we've just got a few more out front here, so we'll be ready to move on. I don't know what John was firing at there. Don't you just love it when that happens? Right, well, I think we're ready to press on, to move on deeper into this... What kind of looks like a war zone, let's face it. Ah, looky, looky, here. You see what I see? The police. We got a police sign. That means guns and ammo it also means having to go inside a big massive building with lots of tight corridors lined corners lots of danger but for now we've still got a lot of work to do in clearing out the outside Okay, we're switching to the hand up for now. Pick off these last few that are taking their time to come to the area. You've missed, oh okay. We've obviously got a few more that's broken out from a building somewhere. Right, that was a bad shot. John's got this. Okay, well the zombies keep coming. Okay, so let's press on in deeper to this police department. It is big. It has got a lot of promise. Look how big that building is. Let's continue for now, sweeping the outside area and clearing it out of zombies, out, but clearing it out of danger. Okay, we found a gap in the fence around the back of the police department. I think it's time to cause some trouble. Say a big hi to the zombies. Let's fire off some shots and see what comes crawling out the woodwork. Okay, we've got this door here is barricaded, which is going to be problematic. And a lot of the windows are barricaded as well. It is clear that a big last stand happened here. A big final battle. We know who won, of course. The zombies. Uh, let's try and get into this garage just up here. Okay, let's see if this door is open. It is not. I guess we might need a sledgehammer. Oh man, I, John does not want to go inside that building, but he feels as though he's got no choice. I guess we're going in the front door. Okay, so before John goes in, before the, he gets close quarters with the zombies, 
we're going to be doing a full circle of the building, see if there's a more attractive way to get in. Now, can I fire at them through there? I can. Look at that. No, I can't. Wow, that is a lot. Now, they can't actually break through there. But that will congregate them all on that barrier, which could work to John's advantage. Okay, so John's have been a bit careless. We fired off the shotgun on the next block up. We didn't really need to do. We should have kept the firing just to the south of the uh, police department. So we're drawing in a lot more zombies into the area. Okay, this is too many. Let's go back to the shotgun, but John needs to fall back. Yeah, we've got zombies coming at me from all directions here. Wow, it's just incredible that you can kill two zombies with one shot that are about 20 yards apart. Now we want to see the zombies coming out of this building. This is going to be difficult though. A lot of the windows are barricaded. Well, they have the metal barriers that are, that are indestructible. So we're not going to get many zombies coming out. This is going to be an issue. Okay, we've had some more zombies break out from that building over the road. So now we've got another big wave of zombies. We've still got plenty of shells. What we don't have is plenty of time though. John is continuing to fight his way back north, but he's coming up against wave after wave after wave of zombies. I think there might be just too many to take on today to get into that police department. But for now, we're going to keep on clearing the area. Okay, so the sheer amount of zombies, zombie corpses, is causing a little bit of an issue for John. He hasn't quite got the stomach for it. And the zombies keep coming. Let's see if we can... I think we've got a lot more zombies coming. Let's go back to the shotgun. Let's see if we can actually take a few steps in. Poke our heads in. Through that front door. Just to weigh up what lies ahead for John. Okay, so we've just got those final two. Looks like the whole main building is going to be locked up tight so it's it's like them all all over again that is going to be problematic Let's see if i can actually oh my god a moment i've got a moment no i don't have a moment there's always another zombie can i shoot at them through the no let's not waste any more shells doing that let's pick up these barriers make this space clear now oh man that is a nightmare just notice that that door is barricaded. I think I'm going to go back to my original plan. I'm going to go around the block and look for a better, more inviting way in. Man, listen to that noise. The noise from these zombies is absolutely driving me crazy. That is, I mean, the amount of zombies in there must be, I mean, it could be hundreds. Oh wow, will you look at that? Did you see how many were on that window? Look at that. John was almost caught daydreaming then. The zombies keep coming. I think this is going to be too much for John to take on today. It is dark. It's going to be pitch black in places in that building. The zombies just keep coming. Okay, so John has walked another block all the way around the building. I mean, this police department is huge. It is a whole block. We've got... Ooh, that is a lot of zombies. Let's fall back. Those zombies were attracted by the shotgun, but they weren't able to pathfind. Um, 
So John has done a magnificent job, a tremendous job of clearing out the area of zombies. There's hardly any left standing around this whole block. The problem is, is this police department. There is a massive amount of zombies in there and there's no way for them to get out. What is, it's going to be quite a task. But that is going to have to be it for today. It was absolute carnage. Let's check the kill count. John has killed almost 300 today. That's 10% of his whole kill count in one, barely an afternoon, really, uh, of, of downtown Central Raven Creek. Absolute bedlam. Listen to that banging. So many in there still. Look at that. We look at that and they're still going to that door. There was a lot at the front entrance as well. This is going to take some thought, some planning, but we're going to have to leave that for another episode. It is midnight. It is dark. John is covered in head to toe from blood. He's drowsy. He could do with a lie down. I mean, he could do with a little bit more than that, I think. But again, he's absolutely decimated the zombie population around here. And we're going to be coming straight back here the next day. John wants to get the job done, the job finished. It is going to be quite an undertaking, quite a task. But if anybody can do it, John can do it. But that is going to have to be it for today. John's got quite a long walk back to his vehicle. You can see just how much progress he has made with that Magnum and shotgun in just one day. Pushing deep into Raven Creek. But what absolute bedlam. Now, like, comment, as always, subscribe, continue supporting John and his efforts all alone in Raven Creek. But for now, that is all. Peace.